This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Comet C-2012 S1 Ison and WTF Earth. Seriously, bro. Comet Ison is going crazy. Part 42, the outburst, and she is Superman Blue. Comet Ison is going crazy with childish outbursts like a titty baby. They ain't getting no titty. And I said T-I-D-D-Y. So all you Puritans, don't freak out. And my favorite thing, at some point, she turns Superman blue, but I guess she might have gone back to green. So I guess I'm gonna have to make that mean green video eventually. Comet Ison is now in outburst. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the 14th of November, 2013. That means we are 14 days from Perihelion on the 28th of November. We got two weeks and Perihelion means closest distance to the sun. Apparently, Ison just started putting on a show. We don't know, Bo Show. Well, it's been about 11 days since I did my last video on Count Ison, and we've had a lot happen. At one point, the epoxy deep impact satellite spacecraft camera that had a pox on it and spun out into outer space magically came back to life. Though if it took photos of Ison, we do not know. We got some big old mean nasty looking sunspot on the Earth. Well, I meant sun. The sun has been freaking out in its minimal, maximal, double peaked solar non maximum, though it has slowed down a little lately. Did I mention I'm kind of creeped out that Bruce Gary and Astro Mutt are dominating the scene? I mean, it's pretty Orwellian that two amateur astronomers, though they be champions, are providing more information on this than all professionals combined. And the tail keeps, and the anti tail jet rink keeps appearing disappearing. She turned Superman blue. You know, for the ice and only spinning on one axis pole thingy. It's kind of weird that nobody really talks about it much. Big wheel keep on turning. Though time did give us his awesome little kindergarten model. Man, ice is huge time. That's weird. Three other major comets. X1, C2013, C2012, R1, S1, X1, 2P, Enki, Lovejoy, Linear, Ison, all are now within the inner solar system, meaning closer than Mars. So the big news was, like yesterday, hey, somebody spotted in their by no q Lars binoculars by Astro Mutt of the GLP, the Comet Ison, is officially an outburst. Because the professionals announced it to one of the amateur champion astronomers, Astro Mutt, and he posted it. There have been no photographs, but I imagine by the time this video comes out, there might be one or two. But apparently the frost line is between Earth and Venus. Apparently the frost line is between Venus and Mercury. Apparently the frost line is between yo mama's thighs. Actually, I recorded the audio last night. Now I'm at work taking a two and a half hour lunch so I can finish this thing. And thanks to our good friend, Dr. Astro Mutt, we have a excellent video of Ison as she has brightened. Thanks, Dr. Astro Mutt. We may be on opposite sides of the fence, but I appreciate all you do. And I recognize you've never been wrong, at least not that I know of. Man, me saying that's gonna piss some people off. They're still saying it is too dim to be seen with the naked eye. Some people are guessing, with the outburst, Ison will be a unaided eye object as soon as tomorrow. Bruce Gary guessed the 18th. Oh yeah, and over here at Ison News UK 2013, I got a cool little chart. It shows you the speed. Right now it's going over 117,000 miles per hour. Man, if I was doing that in a car, I wonder how fast it would take me to get from here to Austin, and wonder how much it would take to fill up that car with gasoline. The sun distance, Ison's distance from the sun, is now at about 0.64 astronomical units. Ison's distance from Earth is 0.9 astronomical units. And one astronomical unit is the distance between Earth and the sun. Right now, Ison is in the constellation Virgo, and its estimated visual magnitude is 6.27. So yes, I'm the linear Ison Anki Lovejoy T 
tip, Eisen has a 10,000 year orbit, asterisk. Lovejoy has an 1,800 year orbit. Linear has a 496 year orbit. Anki has a 4.4 to 3.3 year orbit. Speaking of professionals, water, ice, flake, snow. And you know what is odd? To me, it's odd that amateur astronomers still are running the show. That's right. Bruce Gary has been single-handedly arm wrestling all of professional silence. I'm sorry, did I say silence? I meant to say professional science under the table, breaking their arms, ripping their fingers off. I mean, heck, even the other day when NBC ran a story on Eisen, they used Astro Mutt's photograph. Now, don't get me wrong. Astro Mutt is so good, I would definitely consider him a professional. But you know what I realized? Professional just means you get paid. Like, you could be the worst astronomer on the frickin' planet. And if somebody's paying you to be an astronomer, you're a professional. So yeah, you could be getting the check, having the $10 billion telescope, and not putting out any information, any data, or any photographs, and you are still a professional. Whereas guys like Bruce Gary and his team of awesome astonishing amateur astronomers have been kicking ass and doing what they can to break down the situation with photographs and analysis analysis bruce gary has definitely been a champion in this situation if i had to have one complaint against bruce gary and this is very minimal is that on some of the subjects he hasn't been that great at breaking it down into layman's terms or maybe i'm stupid maybe i am maybe it's a little bit of both Wait, I don't know, man. This is weird. They're still saying it is too dim to be seen with the naked eye. Now, I think this is total bull crap. I mean, how stupid is it to say that the eye is naked? You don't ever actually put anything on the eye that could be considered clothes, right? Like, you don't have eyeball mittens or hat that you put on your eyes. I mean, you put glasses over your eyes to aid them so technically the better term would be to the unaided eye because you don't ever put any type of clothing articles of clothing shoes i mean you don't even have eye accessories that go on the eye itself so naked eyes stupid i said it you know i mean you guys get on my heels if i call something a jet rink well if you're gonna invent stuff and i should be able to invent stuff too hey wait is naked eye a good term no because eyes never wear clothes so they are either always naked or never naked naked eye is a stupid term that don't make no damn sense unaided eye is much more correcter and proper and appropriateable ish i gotta admit dude no offense to whoever the first guy to recover icing with binoculars that's nowhere near as impressive as when Bruce Gary did it with a telescope from behind the sun. They peel it back, then they peel you apart, heal, and restart. I see some new lights in heaven's twilight. Superman Blue, I got a question. Would you rather fight 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? A pretty lady asked me. And I said, I don't fight animals. And I realized there, I had condensed my unicorn theory into a nutshell. But I'll explain the unicorn theory later. I got a question, so what would have to happen to prove to science and doubters that comets are harbingers of change? Anybody know? Oh wait, oh wait. Give me an answer when you want to. I mean, what would have to happen, man, for you to be like, okay, comets are harbingers of change. Tweets are vapid. City at night. We are so close to December. Has anybody else noticed that right around Thanksgiving, through New Year's Eve, women get a little friendlier? Nobody wants to be alone for the holidays. I don't get a funny feeling often, but when I do, it's about November 16th. But that was probably just the $33 of Taco Bell, $12 of McDonald's, $3 of Arby's, $42 of Long John Silver's that I just ate. I think I'm overdosing. I'm going to peel it back. And then they peel you apart. They peel it back. Then they peel you apart. Heal and restart. I see some new lights in heaven's twilight. 
Superman Blue. Math loves money, and money loves math. Other than human beings, the rest of the solar system exists without money or math. Some dudes will be like, no, dude, the sun does math all the time. Like, okay, dude. Do you ever hear science ever mention an irony so absolute you don't even have to check it with Alanis Morissette? No. Have you ever heard science try and tell the automobile makers of the infinity that a car is almost the exact opposite of infinity? You know? No. Why does science pick and choose its battles so strangely? You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. We took the doom and we put it on the shelf. Check, verify, find it for yourself. I sure hope November 16th isn't very mean. But what do I know? Hey, maybe Ice and Enki, Linear Lovejoy, never amount to anything more than headline fluff. But hey, what am I supposed to learn about? Think about, pontificate about, reality TV? Professional and college sports, cars, why women do what they do, the latest iPhone, mastering the perfect outfit in the perfect living room. What is up with dudes always having a problem and do that? When I'm out in public at a drinking establishment, keeping to myself, writing a new Thor News episode, Wank has always got to come up and make fun of my pens. Like, you got a lot of pens. Where's your coloring book? It's like, really? Are you that freaked out? By pen. Does it remind you of the basic core skills of being a man and woman that you are missing when you should be using it daily? Sweet. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself.